Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang miscellaneous substitution for integration. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang miscellaneous substitution for integration. So, itong type of substitution na gagawin natin dito is uh, may consider tayong iba't ibang cases, particularly kapag meron tayong, meron tayong exponent sa ating variable x na fraction, as well as kapag meron din tayong rational integrand involving sine or cosine. So, magsasolve tayo ng sets of integral. Let's start with question number 1. For the first one, we have integral of square root of x over 1 plus cube root of x dx. Okay, so, una natin gawin is itransform muna natin itong mga radicals into fractional exponent. So, we have integral, yung square root of x equal siya sa x raised to 1 half, right? Over, itong 1 plus cube root of x equal siya sa x raised to 1 third, then dx. So, kapag meron tayong fractional exponent dun sa ating variable x, pwede tayong mag-substitution as x is equal to z raised to n. Where yung n is yung LCD ng denominators ng mga fractional exponent ng x. So, ano bang LCD ng fractional exponents ng x na di ba 1 half tsaka 1 third? So, anong LCD ng 2 tsaka 3? 6. So, therefore, pwede natin i-substitute as x is equal to z to the 6. Okay. Tapos, i-derivative natin both sides. Itong x is equal to z to the 6, we have dx is equal to 6z to the 5th dz. Power rule. And then, tsaka natin i-substitute dito sa original integral. So, we have integral of, so itong x raised to 1 half, magiging ano na siya. Pag ni-raise natin both sides by 1 half, itong x raised to 1 half equal siya sa z raised to 6 raised to 1 half. So, parang z raised to 6 over 2 or z raised to the third. So, we have z raised to the third over etong 1 plus pag x raised to 1 third naman. So, therefore, i-raise natin both sides itong x is equal to z to the 6 by 1 third. So, we have x raised to 1 third is equal to parang z raised to 6 over 3 or z squared. So, we have 1 plus z squared and then itong dx equal siya dito sa 6z to the 5th dz. So, in terms of z na tayo. So, itong 6 na constant, igigilid ko na lang. So, we have 6 integral of z to the cube plus z to the 5th is what? Add natin yung exponent. We have z to the 3 plus 5 or 8 power over 1 plus z squared dz. So, mapapansin nyo, improper rational expression tayo kasi mas mataas yung degree ng numerator sa denominator. So, pwede pa natin muna itong i-divide. So, we have z raised to the 8 divided by 1 plus z squared. So, we have z to the 8 divided by z squared. z to the 6, right? And then, multiply natin, we have z to the 6 times z squared is z to the 8. Then, z to the 6 times 1 is positive z to the 6. Subtract, we have cancel z to the 8. Matitira is negative z to the 6. So, negative z to the 6 divided by z squared is what? Negative z to the 4th. Then, multiply uli natin. Negative z to the 4th times z squared is negative z to the 6th. And negative z to the 4th times 1 is negative z to the 4th. Then, pag sinubtract natin, cancel si z to the 6th. Matitira is magiging positive z to the 4th na. Then, z to the 4th divided by z squared we have positive z squared. So, multiply natin ulit. We have z squared times z squared is z to the fourth. Then, z squared times 1 is positive z squared. Then, subtract natin. We have matitira is negative z squared na, right? Then, negative z squared divided by z squared is negative 1 na lang. Then, negative 1 times z squared is negative z squared. Then, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. So, therefore, we have subtracting cancel z squared. Matitira is magiging positive 1, right? So, therefore, ito na yung remainder. So, therefore, equal na tayo sa z to the 6th minus z to the 4th plus z squared minus 1 
Then, plus yung remainder natin na 1 over same denominator dapat na 1 plus c squared. So, ito na yung integrate natin. So, meron tayong nakamultiply na 6. Then, integral nitong expression dz. So, itong bawat expression na to, power formula lang, right? So, we have integral ng z6 tz. z to the 7 over 7. Minus itong z to the 4th, z to the 5 over 5. Plus, z to the second, z cube over 3. Itong minus 1, integral niya is simply negative z. And then plus, itong integral ng 1 over 1 plus c squared, arc tangent yan, di ba? So, we have arc tangent of z. So, lahat sila may nakamultiply na 6, right? And then plus c. So, ngayon, balik na natin yung variable z in terms of original na variable natin na x. So, diba, x is equal to z to the 6 originally yung substitution natin. So, therefore, z is equal to raise both sides by 1, 6, right? So, cancel yung exponent ni z. z is equal to x raised to 1, 6. So, yun yung substitute ngayon natin dito sa bawat z. So, we have, so, distribute ko na rin si 6, ha? 6 over 7, yung z is x raised to 1, 6, then naka-raise pa sa 7. Or ilan na to? x raised to 7 over 6. Minus, distribute si 6. So, 6 over 5, x raised to 1, 6, raised to 5. So, parang x raised to 5 over 6. Plus, distribute si 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then, times x raised to 1, 6 cube. So, parang 3 over 6 or 1 half. x raised to 1 half. Distribute sa z, we have negative 6. z is x raised to 1, 6. Plus, distribute si 6 sa arctan. We have 6 arctan. z is x raised to 1, 6. Plus c. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have integral of x to the 5th times square root of x squared plus 4 dx. Okay, so this time, yung integral natin is may square root. Tapos, inside the square root is meron tayong quantity x squared plus 4. So, try naman natin ngayon na z is equal to square root of x squared plus 4. Or z squared is equal to x squared plus 4, right? So, pag differentiate natin both sides, we have... 2z dz equals 2x dx or cancel si 2 z dz is equal to x dx so pag sinapsitut natin we have integral ng so itong x dx pwede nating masubstitute as z dc so kuha tayo ng isang x dito sa x to the 5th sa x to the 4th na lang siya and then masasama dito sa x dx isasubstitute natin siya as Z DC. So, itong square root ng x squared plus 4, pwede nang masubstitute as Z, right? So, Z. And then, itong x DX is Z DZ. So, anong kulang na lang? Itong x to the 4th. Balikan natin itong substitution. So, pag kinanspose ko itong 4 sa kabila, magiging Z squared minus 4 is equal to x squared. So, kailangan natin is x to the 4th. So, square natin both sides para itong x squared maging x to the 4th. Right? So, parang x to the 4th pala is equal to z squared minus 4 quantity squared. So, therefore, kurong ko lang. Imamultiply natin tong z times z dc dito sa z squared minus 4 quantity squared. So, in terms of z na lang tayo. So, we have integral of z squared minus 4 quantity squared. z times z dc is z squared dz. So, gawin natin is expand natin tong square of a binomial. So, we have z to the 4th minus 8z squared, right? Plus 16 times z squared dz. Then, distribute natin yung z squared. So, we have integral of z to the 6th na, right? Minus 8z to the 4th na plus 16z squared dz. So, lahat ng to is integrable using power formula. So, anong integral ng z to the 6? z to the 7 over 7, right? Minus 8. Anong integral ng z to the 4th? z to the 5th 
5 over 5 plus 16 ano integral ng z squared z to the third over 3 plus c ngayon try natin i-combine sa single fraction so anong lcd ng 7 5 tsaka 3 multiply lang natin right 105 so we have 105 as the lcd so 105 divided by 7 is 15 times z to the 7 is 15 z to the 7 Minus 105 divided by 5 is 21 times 8 is 168 z to the 5th plus 105 divided by 3 is 35 times 16 is what? 560 z cubed. Okay? Plus c. So ngayon try kong i-factor out itong z cubed. Kasi common sa kanila, right? So, so we have z cubed times 15z to the 4th minus 168z squared plus 560. And then itong 105, dito ko na lang ilalagay. Plus c. So ngayon, substitute na natin yung z in terms of x. Na ano ba yung original na substitution natin? Square root of x squared plus 4, right? So, gawin ko na lang fractional exponent, ha? So, x squared plus 4, raised to 1 half, tapos nakakib pa. So, para ka na na siya, 3 half. Raised to 3 halves over 105. Then, 15. Then, z is x squared plus 4, raised to 1 half. And then, naka-raised to the 4 pa. So, ilan na to? 4 Divide by 2 or 2. So, parang i-square natin siya. So, times x squared plus 4 quantity squared. Minus 168. Itong z squared is x squared plus 4 raised to 1 half. Tapos naka-square pa. So, parang maka-cancel. Right? Plus 560 plus c. So, pwede natin gawin is simplify natin tong expression na to. So, ito copy na lang x squared plus 4 raised to 3 halves over 105. Times, so ito square natin to. So, 15 times x to the 4th plus 8x squared plus 16. And then ito, distribute na lang si 168 minus 168x squared. So, negative 168 times 4 is what? Negative 672. And then, plus 560 plus C. So, distribute natin tong 15. We have 15x to the 4th plus 15 times 8x squared. 120x squared. Then, 15 times 16. 240. Minus 168x squared. Minus 672 plus 560 plus C. Tapos, combine natin similar terms. So, sa x to the 4th, wala. So, copy lang. 15x to the 4th. Sa x squared, we have 120x squared minus 168x squared. Ilan yun? Negative 48x squared. Tapos, yung constants na lang. 240 minus 672 plus 560. Positive 128. So, plus 128. And then, nakamultiply pa dito, right? So, x squared plus 4 raised to 3 halves over 105 plus C. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have integral of dx over 1 minus sin x plus cosine x. Okay, so this time, kapag meron naman tayong rational integrand na nag involve ng cosine at sine, pwede tayong gumamit ng tinatawag nating wire stress substitution. So, ito yung gagawin nating substitution pag gumamit tayo ng wire stress substitution. So, let z natin be equal to tan 1 half x. And then, si sin x equal siya sa 2z over 1 plus z squared. And then, si cosine x equal siya sa 1 minus z squared over 1 plus z squared. And then, yung dx equal siya sa 2dz over 1 plus z squared. So, hindi ko na dinerive yung formula. Basta kapag, basta kapag nakakita kayo ng integral na... Rational expression involving cosine at sine, pwede nyo itry itong substitution na to. 
Okay, so tandaan nyo na lang yung formula. Okay, so apply nyo natin dito kasi meron tayong rational expression sa integral natin, right, na nag involve ng sine x saka cosine x. So, substitute natin yung mga substitution. So, we have integral, itong dx equal dito sa 2dz over 1 plus z squared over 1 minus, ano si sin x? 2z over 1 plus z squared plus, ano si cosine x? 1 minus z squared over 1 plus z squared. Okay, so, pwede kong gawin is combine ko yung nasa denominator. So, magiging LCD nila is 1 plus z squared, right? So, dito sa 1, parang may numerator lang siya na 1. So, pag divide mo yung 1 plus z squared sa 1, 1 plus z squared pa rin. So, times 1, still 1 plus z squared. Minus... So, 1 plus z squared divided by 1 plus z squared is 1 times 2z is 2z. Plus, 1 plus z squared divided by 1 plus z squared is 1 times 1 minus z squared is 1 minus z squared pa rin. So, mapapansin nyo, pwede natin makancel sa numerator at denominator yung 1 plus z squared, right? So, matitira is itong 2 constant, igigilid ko na lang. So, dz na lang sa numerator. Over, simplify natin tong denominator. So, makakancel natin dito si z squared, right? Tapos, makakombine si 1 plus 1, 2, then minus 2z. So, factor out natin tong 2, we have 2 integral of dz over 2 times 1 minus z, right? And then, itong 2, pwede ulit natin igilid, parang may 1 half. So, 2 times 1 half, cancel, right? Integral of dz over 1 minus z. So, parang integral of dz over 1 minus z na lang yung integrate natin. So, pag nilet yun natin to na 1 minus z, du is equal to negative dz. So, therefore, it is equal to integral ng negative dz. So, dz is parang divide both sides by negative 1. Equal siya sa negative du, right? So, negative du over 1 minus z is u. So, negative integral ng du over u is ln u, right? So, negative ln u plus c. And then, ibalik natin yung u in terms of z na 1 minus c. So, negative ln of 1 minus z plus c. And then, yung z originally in terms of x, ano ba siya? tan 1 half x. So, therefore, our final answer is negative ln of 1 minus tan 1 half x plus c. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Misaling is substitution for integration. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.